Hello everyone. So in this um, video, I'm going to be talking about uh, graph uh, graphs of velocity versus time. Um, these graphs are, you know, depending on how they look like they as the name suggests they actually give you the velocity let's say in meters per second over time so it it they basically show you what the speedometer so to speak on your car shows at different instance so whatever or however it looks like let's say if it looks like so it means that no matter how when we are looking at the speedometer in our car the velocity shows the same number as you see the velocity here shows its positive is above the axis uh, above the um, basically above the x-axis and conventionally uh, we choose positive to be our uh, you know right direction if we go on a straight line in a straight line and um, negative uh, to be uh, to the left so if you ever deal with a velocity that was positive most likely conventionally meant it means that you know the 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 object car or whatever it's moving it's moving towards the right or if it's moving vertically it means it's going uh, to um, basically upward now what happens is that in so many occasions velocity um, looks like um, something like that so let the just it just goes down up and whatever you know different different patterns so let's just now take a, a you know a basically let's just uh, review the the velocity of the object as time passes by so from time t1 to t2 Velocity was constant, positive and constant. You see that? The same number till we get to t, uh, t2. At, and it was moving towards the right. So let's suppose that right, it was like the object was going in a straight line and uh, the direction of positive direction is, you know, to the, to the right. So during t1 and t2, the object was moving to the right at t2 let's say at five seconds then what happened was what basically the velocity started to go down so as you see let's say this was 20 meters per second and it is now decreasing decreasing to reach zero which means that it stops momentarily and then it goes towards negative uh, direction which means that now the car in this case it's moving towards towards left so for example for um, people who are in the states we are let's say moving in i10 here we're moving i10 with constant velocity i10 east right and then at this point we are slowing down as you're seeing like because the the number on your speedometer is going to decrease 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 and then it actually hits zero which means that we stop we are gonna we're gonna stop momentarily and at this point this is gonna go up but the magnitude goes up the direction is negative as you see all these velocities are negative so in actual life in actuality what it means is that it's as if we are making a u-turn on i10 and then we are going at this point towards i10 west all right till we get to let's say t so t3 stops momentarily and then t4 is when we make a u-turn all right so we make a U-turn at T4, and now after we make a U-turn, what happens is that, well, uh, I'm sorry, um, the T3, we make a U-turn, I apologize, we stop, and then we make a U-turn at T3, and then we keep going along, t uh, you know, uh, along uh, I-10 West, till we get to the, our highest uh, velocity this point where we get to the highest velocity so here we are basically speeding up um, and
And uh, so at this point, we start slowing down again. As you see, um, the velocities number is decreasing. Uh, but we still are on I-10 West. So we still are going towards the left, but we are decreasing in our velocity what happens is that at T5, we're going to stop momentarily again. So we're going to stop momentarily at T5. And what happens is that we're going to make another U-turn. So this is another U-turn because we were, at, we were driving at I-10 West. And then we make a U-turn, stop momentarily. We make a U-turn and then we go towards I-10 east and we're increasing our velocity as we go so what happens is um, basically uh, our motion is constant velocity which means zero acceleration here decreasing velocity and hitting zero so this is deceleration here make a u-turn stops momentarily make a u-turn and then we as we make a u-turn we increase our velocity to a maximum at T4 and then we make and uh, what we what happens is that now as we are, get to the highest velocity now we're going to slow down we're going to slow down as you see the velocity uh, number goes towards zero so we slow down we slow down till we get to till we stop and we're, then we're going to stop momentarily and then we're going to make a U-turn and go towards um, and get into I-10 East. So um, make sure you understand, now this is for um, people who are having, um, uh, you know, calculus-based physics. So if I want to express these things in terms of calculus physics, then what I have to do is I can just write it as, so let's just then I can say, well, you know, velocity is delta x over delta t, and also acceleration is delta v over delta t. So now what happens is that as I get these two t's very, very close to one uh, to, to to each other, it's as if I'm basically changing the delta to d. Right. So what happens is that now I can write acceleration in terms of derivative of velocity with respect to the time. This means that acceleration is the derivative of, uh, of velocity with respect to the time. And on the graph, it, it is essentially the slope of velocity versus time. So here the slope is zero, hence, uh, hence velocity is constant. Here the slope is negative, hence acceleration is negative. And here acceleration is negative, at this point velocity is positive, so it's slowing down motion. Acceleration negative, velocity negative, this means speeding up. Please watch the video that I explain all of these details. I'm going to be having it um, linked somewhere in, on this page, uh, on this, uh, on this video, so that you, you you go watch them. So this is slowing down motion. This is speeding up motion. I explained that in an. I already explained that in another video. This is also slowing down motion. This is speeding up motion. Along from T4. Um, onwards the acceleration is positive though and so this is a uh, you know I'm just basically this is a wrap up for um, for graphs of velocity versus time if you have any questions or comments please link uh, please um, type them down below subscribe to the channel so that you know you get updates from the videos if you have any suggestions um, let me know share that with your friends sharing is caring all right um, so take care and I'll see you in another video bye bye